So woman, you say you want to be married, but marriage is about submission. Marriage is about obeying your husband. Marrying is to make sure this man is a man of God. Make sure this woman is a woman of God. Now, I'm not saying that he's a preacher. I'm saying that he will love you, glory to God, even though you are skinny. He will love you even though you are sick. He will love you even though you got no money in the bank. He will love you if you get caught in a fire. He will love you, glory to God, or she will love you if you get wheeled in a wheelchair. You say you want to get married, but you don't want to be submissive. You don't want to be faithful, men and glory women. You got to obey your husband because the Bible say, glory to God, the, the woman, the man shall rule over you. The what the Bible say, that was your curse in the garden. Hey, glory to God. So you say you want to get married. Now you say you want to be married, but you can't cook. You can't clean. And don't want to have children. You say, my friend, you want to be married, but this man is not faithful. He, not, he don't have finance. And he's not a family man. So how can you say you want to be married? Marriage is a two-way street, my friend. Make sure he can cook. Make sure she can cook. Make sure he can clean. Make sure she can clean. Make sure they want to have children. Because marriage is not just a word. Marriage is about love. Marriage is about benevolency. Marriage is about sacrifice. You say you want to be married, but you can't cook, you can't clean, and you don't have children. And you say you want to be married, man? You don't want to be faithful? You don't have finance and you're not a family man. My friend, if you want to want a man going to love you, make sure he love his mother and make sure he love his sister, my friend. If not, don't get married. So men get married for fantasy. Men get married because they want to test it out. It's like going to a car dealership. They want to test the ride before they get married. But marriage is not about that. Marriage is about love. If you don't love her, don't marry her. If you don't love him, don't marry him. Don't base your marriage on sex, on appearance, on what people say. But base your love or marriage about the person that you want to marry for the rest of your life. Listen, my friend. The reason why marriage didn't last for a lot of people because they have sex on their mind. I know Paul say it better to marry than to burn, but Paul don't mean that. Paul don't mean get married for sex, but get married for love. What marriage is not about? Marriage is not about the ring. Marriage is not about a ceremony. My friend, a lot of people have spent 10,000, over 100,000 marriage ceremony. And to this day, they're not married. My friend, I got married. Listen, I got married at the justice of peace. There was justice and there was peace. Hey, glory. So marriage, let's, let's repeat, my friend. Marriage is not about a, 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 a $1.5 million carat ring. It glory to God. Marriage is not about a ceremony that you spend a hundred thousand dollars, but marriage is about commitment. Marriage is about submissiveness. Marriage is about keeping folks out your business, especially your mother, especially your family member. It glory to God. Marriage is about cuddle up. Over thirty-two years, I still cuddle up.